Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. And I do that through sharing weekly channeling videos with afterlife celebrities. So this week, I am sharing a channeling with Elvis. Now, this is not the first time where I've chatted with Elvis, but I'm bringing him in here very special because my intention is to share right now, it's um, December 2018, it's the holiday season, and my intention was to share videos with you that get you in the holiday spirit. And so I had a list of folks from the afterlife that I wanted to chat with, because of that. Now Elvis, you know, that blue Christmas song, kind of made sense to talk with Elvis. Um, and when this conversation first came up and Elvis entered my list of who to channel with Holiday Spirit, um, I was chatting with my husband and I said, oh, we should do Elvis. I should definitely talk to Elvis. And I said, I wonder what his favorite song is. And right away, he answered me. Like I'm driving in the car with my husband, we're having this conversation about work, you know, scheduling videos for you. And he answered, Elvis answered out, like I could hear him very clearly. He said, oh, little town of Bethlehem. And I said, well, that's kind of not what I expected necessarily. But he said, oh, little town of Bethlehem. And I thought, wow, okay. I know that Elvis is into the gospel music and he loves it very, very much. And so I guess it shouldn't be a surprise. So let's find out more from Elvis today, shall we? All right, come on in, Elvis Aaron Presley. He's already here. He was already here in the beginning because I, I tried to do an intro for this video and I, I was like, <laughs> because his energy came in. He's so sweet, you guys. <laughs> Watch the playlist. You'll see my other conversations with Elvis. He's just so sweet. He looks very handsome. He kind of, he first starts out with like his military uniform on like a hat. Like, I don't know if he was in the military during the holidays or if it was around the holidays or something, but there's like, oh, no, no, no. He's talking about like Toys for Tots and how the Marines started the, um, the um, like charita charitable giving kind of, a, he's talking about that. Like there's a pride in that. And he's talking about, um, um, yeah, the toys for the children. That's what he's showing me, children and toys. That's what he's talking about very specifically. All right, okay. And he, so he's nodding to that. He's, yes, like honoring that. Thank you, kind of a thing. Oh, nice. Oh, that's very sweet. All right, so um, when I saw you earlier, I felt very Hawaiian vibes. So I tried, I'm thinking, what can I wear? That's a color that would be, I had to wear my purple, of course, but, um, because it puts me in a good mood. Yeah, you know that, yeah. Um, but I had to wear like something coral or something else that would feel more, you know, a little more tropical when I'm really not in a tropical climate right now. Um, but I felt a lot of uh, uh, Hawaii for you. So can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, he said, he says, oh, yes. Like there's all of a sudden this incredible rush of relaxation that just comes in and just like makes me just wanna lean back, just relax. So I invite you as you're watching, connect in with your heart energy and feel that energy that Elvis is bringing forward. It's so, he's just like relaxed. He's like, there's such a, a tranquility, uh, a peaceful energy about Hawaii for him. And it's just like a being on vacation. Like, and, and, and it's more than just being on vacation, you guys. It feels like love, like he adores it. Like this energy is just, he loves it loves it because I see the lays and there's big orange and red flowers on his lays and it looks like yellow actually is it orange or yellow I can't um it looks more like yellow it looks yellow and orange and then like little white ones too I can see and he's like really it's really hot like he's kind of brushing his his um head and he's like perspiring a lot it's warm it's really warm and he's got the white jumpsuit on is how I see him it's really warm it's really warm but he's, we're in his favorite place energetically, his favorite place on earth, okay, which is Hawaii. Is that true? Yes. He said, yeah, it has my heart. He said, it has my heart. Hawaii has my heart. He said, Hawaii has my heart. He said, then he says, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. All right. So 
It's the holidays, Elvis, and it would be wonderful if you would share some insight with us. And I specifically chose you to share during the holiday season because there's a lot of people that need positive inspiration during this time of year. Lots of hope is needed here. And I thought you would be a good one, um, a good spirit to connect with, to share that, to feel that energy. Why is the holiday season so very special to you in the afterlife? Now, as a human, you can chat about that if you'd like, but I want to know about the afterlife. How is this part of the year, this ending of the year and the beginning of a year and the holiday season specifically? So there's multiple religious and spiritual holidays that are observed during this month. And would you talk about that a little bit? He says, I'd be happy to. Yes, and he says, you know that I am a fan. Okay, I'm trying really hard not to use this accent because I'm horrible at it, you guys. And I know I am horrible at accents, but sometimes it just happens because I just, I can feel them and match it a little bit. <laughs> he says, uh, you know that I'm a fan of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Mm -hmm. As a person, when you look at my human life, he says, I was a fan of Jesus he says, my mama raised me to be polite and to know the word of the Lord. And so many of you will relate to that too specifically. And I would say to you, I would suggest to you to lean on that. Lean on that faith. Lean deeper into your faith during times like this that are special or, or special. As he said, he doesn't say that times like this that are in times that are oh, I can't even use my hands it's kind of weird everything's heavy it's in the heart he's speaking right to the heart my friends as you listen he says in times that are deeply emotional and personal for many loss is pretty obvious he says loss is a uh, devastating and we miss those we loved so deeply, so dearly. He says, so dearly, we miss. We, we recognize their absence, he says, during the holidays. And he's speaking from personal experience is what it feels like, really. Is that true from human? Are you reflecting on the human experience? The loss of my mother, yes, he says. My mom, my mama. My mama, he says, yes. And he says, Many of your viewers, he says, will relate, will, will be able to feel that, understand that, because they feel that too. Um, those of you who are watching, you feel that too, he says. So I share this with you. Grief is not something you can share, he says. It doesn't, you don't share grief, but you can share hope. You can lean into your faith. And what you believe is, and he says, right for you, right for you. For me, during that time, I looked to God. I did my best. I didn't know how to make the best choices, but I did my best. And I knew that He would always see me through. Can you talk about, yeah, gosh, I can't even move my hands right now. Everything feels really heavy on my hands and my arms. And He's just really focusing on the heart chakra. So, you guys, please feel that. Please take a moment to. Connect into the heart chakra energy. Yeah, he's not using his hands a lot. Maybe that's why I don't get to use my hands. Just concentrate on the energy, all right? I'll feel it in my heart chakra. Archangel Michael is also here. I'm just gonna mention that. And for those of you who are intuitive or psychics or mediums that are with watching at Above Life channel here, he's here. Archangel Michael's present too to help me with the connection. So it's very pure in this regard. He says, oh, you're doing a good job, Bridget. That's what I was just said. You're doing a good job, Bridget. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> sweet. See, so sweet. Oh, so sweet. So polite. So charming, too. Ooh. Okay, okay, focus. Be Bridget the bridge, not the person. Okay, all right. It's so hard, you guys. I like Elvis so much. He's so nice. All right. Okay. So share with us about spirit, then. How do you feel about all these things you've mentioned 
you mentioned Jesus specifically. You also mentioned God, and you referred to him as he. And of course, Bridget will notice this. Yes, I do. <laughs> Can you talk about that in relation to... I'm going to use and move my hands. Oh boy, they feel really heavy. <laughs> in relationship to being a spirit. Elvis, tell us about that. You were so pious as a person and you were raised that way. Tell us about that now in the afterlife as you, as this is the holiday season. And there will be many that will identify with the religion or a practice like that. And there will be many that who do not. Who do not. So tell us from a, a spirit's perspective, how do you feel about that now? What is that like for you now? And he says, every day is a holiday. He just kind of cocks his head and he smiles real big and he looks at me with these eyes. Oh my goodness. And he says, every day is a holiday. He said, that's pretty much what heaven's like. And I want people to know that. You all should know that. He says, is every day is a holiday. He says, uh, But that paradise that is promised to you after you leave this earth is sort of a mystery, isn't it? But it's not really a mystery. See, not so much, it's Elvis speaking. Not so much of a mystery. If you could just take the time when you are being a person is the word I'm going to use when you're being, he said, to realize how much you are purely loved. There is love all around you. Everything about you just, and he's showing me like this glowing ball of just pink love energy all around us. Like we are the center, light pink, white, and then there's this like core white divine love and then this pretty kind of a echoing vibration that's light pink very pink that's the paradise and you think it's a place it's not a place it's a, it's all around you already and he says there's no one person in charge. There's no one soul. He's telling me there's no one in charge. So like afterlife, there's no one in charge. I know you'll find that hard to believe uh, that it's not just chaos here. It's chaos here where you are at times, isn't it? I know, I know. You see, we are really connected at heart. He shares this. Um, kind of image of like a heart radiating out. We're all connected at heart. Your feelings and your emotions are so much stronger than you realize. There's a lot of power in that. That's how most of us are connected. That whether that spirit is inside of a person or not. There's no blank void, no Big, uh, he shows me like a big gap to fall into, like a bottomless pit or something. He says there's nothing like that. There's no separation. There's no sorting of people or spirit based on behaviors. He says, so tell me about the God concept of God. Oh, and Jesus. He says, well, Jesus was a person. That is true. That's a fact that most people will be able to accept. He says most, most of your viewers will be able to accept that, you know. And I do accept that too. I believe Jesus was a person. And um, so Jesus was a person, yes, yes. And talk to us about God. So was there like a father and a son and all that? And he says, that's a story, isn't it? It's a life story. And he says, it's not mine. Thank you for helping me to be politically correct. <laughs> to avoid the, oh, some of the sticky stuff that comes with that conversation. Um, so talk to us about God then. What is God? It's spirit. 
He says, Holy Spirit. Spirit, holy. Like, and then he shows me like full, fullness. He's not talking to me. I'm going to be clear right now. He all of a sudden just stopped talking and he showed me pictures. So what I believe of the universe and of cosmos and of, of a source or a prime source or a creator is a coordination of energy that's a disc or, or um, looks like a disc, kind of like a wheel with spokes and stuff and how the, all of us are interrelated and connected and some more directly than others. That's how I believe. It's a patterning. It's a sacred patterning. And I do believe that there is a source energy. Um, but it's not a person. It's a collaborative, cooperative, co-creative energy. And we're all part of that. That's what I believe. And so he's kind of showing me like universe and white light, like a God light energy source and how we're all part of a oneness. And so he says, Holy Spirit is what he says. So that's how you interpret it. Now, it's interesting because now when he talks about after, from his afterlife perspective, now we're talking to Elvis, everyone. When we, he talks about his afterlife perspective, he's talking, he's not talking. It's a, a sensory experience. Like he's showing me it's very visual and it's very abstract and it's not definable with our brain. But we use other terms like God, or I use, as you know, God, creator, source, universe, to describe that consciousness, that connection, that creative energy that, that supports us as a wholeness. And a oneness is a great way to describe it. Um, it's difficult for the mind to process. So we use terms that we can use and we have um, shared belief systems in groups and networks where we can come together as community and understand and share the common understanding, common beliefs. And they're different. There's variations and there's different ways to interpret the energy of whatever God is. Wow, this is kind of deep, you know, this is pretty powerful. And Elvis says, this is why it's hard to use words to describe it. Yes. So he says, it's beautiful. Bridget, he says, it's beautiful. Please tell them it's beautiful. It's just, it's a beautiful feeling. And the closest thing is your heart. He says, your heart, the feeling, the energy, emotion. Emotion is what he's using. He's not talking intuition. He's talking emotion, energy. He's talking like clairsentience, my friends, clairsentience. Remember, clairsentience is the psychic gift of sensing feeling. If you feel overly sensitive or highly sensitive or like an empath, that's what he's talking about. That's how he's sharing this afterlife. His perspective as a spirit in the afterlife of the holidays and of these big concepts that, quite frankly, I'm very surprised that you are bringing, that you are, um, bringing these in. But I, I appreciate it so very, very much. The comments will be very interesting, and Elvis, I fully expect you to help me with those. <laughs> use your, use your uh, magical spiritual powers to make it not so tough for me, okay? <laughs> People are going to nail me to the wall, I think, with some of that, which is fine. Whatever, right? It is what it is. To each his own. To each her own. So God's not a woman, huh? Come on. He laughs. He's like, <laughs> He says, who do you think you're channeling? <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> uh, okay, I know the truth, ladies. We know the truth. Okay, for those of you who are very serious watchers of Above Life Channel, I hope you know that I'm just kidding, right? I'm teasing. I got to tease a little bit. Okay. Elvis, is there anything you'd like to leave us with? Can you give us any insight into 2019? Let's ask him that. Why not, right? Insight into 2019, next year, new year. He says, it's a big one. Okay, well, it's always a big one. Can you be a little more specific? And he says, the grass isn't always greener. That's what he gives me, kind of analogy. He's not speaking directly saying it. He's kind of talking to me now at a higher level. So he, I can't quite get his accent or anything like that. It's like he's moving away a little bit as he's giving the information and advice. He's stepping up into an energy platform that's more ascended, which means just a higher vibration, which means as a spirit, because he's looking at the future kind of a thing, which I hate predictions. Just so you know, write that down. Bridget does not like predictions. Why? Because why all this? Because we co-create our experience. We are all creators. We work with our teams in the universe to create this awesome experience or not so awesome sometimes experience. 
That's why I don't like predictions, because you create your future. You do. I totally believe that. <laughs> Go ahead and comment below. <laughs> I'm getting a little sassy, Elvis. Sometimes I get sassy when I talk to you. I love it. So 2019, it's a big one. What do you mean by that? And the grass isn't always greener. What does that mean? Can you be a little more specific for us human brains that need details? Because now I'm like, what do you mean the grass isn't always greener? He said, spring is good for planting. What? What? I, this doesn't even sound like Elvis. He's trying to be funny. I think he's trying to be funny. He says, really, you want me to... You want me to uh, to tell you all the secrets of the world. I can't do that. I'm like, I know, I know. The spring does feel better, you guys. Like March, April, it feels like a better. So if the energy has been really tough for you lately, it feels like spring, March, or April just definitely feels better. He, it feels like there's a long pause in January too from what he's showing me. It looks like there's, we start the year, but there's a kind of like this pause. So if you are the type that does like New Year's resolutions or vision boards or goals or word of the year, all those kinds of things, Stuff that I do like with my clients and my small groups and stuff. Um, if you do those kinds of things, just be aware that the timing might be a little different. You might do them the second or third week of January, not the first week, and that's okay. It kind of feels like there's a long pause getting into the new year. Um, but then things pick up a little bit in February. It kind of feels like business as usual. But then in March and April, it feels like it opens, like a light, like, like it feels better, like energetically we feel better. We feel better. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, that's, I'll take that. I'll be okay with that. Yeah, and things shake out a little bit in the end of the year. Like November seems a little like uh, turbulent maybe. We're used to that though. Our Novembers, especially in the United States, have not been the greatest the last couple of years, let me just say. Been a little tricky. But it's a time of change too, so that's all right. You know, the fall kind of shifting it, but. All right. Well, thank you. This has been a channeling, a very interesting and dynamic conversation. Dynamic with Elvis Presley in the afterlife. And we've interpreted some things here. So I've shared a little more of my insights as well and let you watch that. So be kind in the comments, please. I'm just going to ask because, you guys, I try to read the comments and when they're super like uh, icky, it's hard to read them. Um, so please be kind. But you can comment. Go ahead and comment if you want to. It's a good way to be able to meet other people, too, that have like-minded views, and that helps, I think. It's good. It's good. All right. So this is Bridget with Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, this has been an uh, afterlife conversation with Elvis Aaron Presley. And I would like to encourage you to like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. If you know somebody that would like to watch it, that would be interested in watching, go ahead and share the link if you'd like to. And then please, you, you are welcome. You are totally welcome to comment below. And I totally encourage interesting dialogue and different viewpoints that are shared in a very respectful and kind way. That would be great. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. Remember, the purpose here, okay, the purpose here at Above Life Channel is not just to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope, but it's to remind you that this is your life. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.